Prince Harry's fiance, Meghan Markle, will have to become really familiar with her new homeland to gain British citizenship. London. What did the Statute of Rhythlan in 1284 lay the basis for who or what is Vindolando? Where is the National Horse Racing Museum named two habits that may start a fight with your neighbor in Britain? These and other rather esoteric questions are what Meghan Markle, the U.S. actress recently engaged to Prince Harry, Queen Elizabeth II's grandson and the fifth in line to the throne, will have to master to become a British citizen. Most Britons, even a Prime Minister, find them almost impossible to answer. Markle, who was raised in Los Angeles, plans to seek British citizenship after she marries Harry, Kensington Palace confirmed. It is a lengthy process that culminates in a punishing citizenship test that costs about $65 and is typically flunked by one year to only half of applicants. The announcement prompted some British news outlets to pounce on her apparent ignorance of Britishisms on a television show last year. She only managed to get a measly 4 out of 15 questions about Britain right, the mirror, a tabloid, said disapprovingly, adding that she did not know the British word for sidewalk and committed a cultural faux pas by venturing that Vegemite was more popular than Marmite. The word is pavement, and Marmite, a yeasty paste spread for bread, is a national treasure. Vegemite is the Australian equivalent. The citizenship exam is really hard, said Julian Knight, a member of Parliament and author of the British Citizenship Test for Dummies. We have a really long history, and it could be really difficult to recall everything, he said. Markle has got to be swatting, he added, using British slang that, as she will come to understand, means to study assiduously. She is refreshingly open about how little she knows about her future adoptive country, let alone the British royal family. In her first interview with Harry, shortly after their engagement was announced Monday, Markle confessed that she had not been wholly aware of her fiancé's royal lineage before meeting him. A mutual friend had set the pair up on a blind date, she said, adding, The only thing I asked her was, was he nice? The exam she will take is known officially as the life in the UK test, and it is required for anyone settling in the country or seeking to become a citizen and, therefore, a subject of the Queen. Before taking the test, applicants must have been living continuously in Britain for at least five years and must pay an application fee of about £1,200, that's $1,600 in the sort of currency Markle best understands. A spokesman for Kensington Palace insisted she intended to follow the process the same way as any other American marrying a British citizen. Takers of the exam have 45 minutes to answer 24 multiple-choice questions about British traditions, customs and history, all of which are based on information in an official handbook published by the Home Office. Apart from Markle, there has been a spike of interest in the exam as debates over identity have mushroomed after Britain voted last year to withdraw from the European Union, a process known as Brexit. That referendum focused mostly on immigration, and many voters who support Brexit say British culture is being diluted because of the bloc's policy of open borders among member countries. In the 18 months since the critical vote, there has been much soul-searching across the island about what it means to be British. The questions on the citizenship test, many Britons say, do not go far towards settling the issue. In addition, they say, the quiz is unfairly difficult, an assertion that was borne out in a scattershot survey of Britain's one recent afternoon that found many struggling to answer sample questions correctly. Or what Peter York, a prominent social commentator, exclaimed. What is the window lander is that a real question, he asked, perplexed. That's extraordinary. York, who describes himself as an English purebred no Welsh, Scottish or Irish components in me, found the questions unsettling. I don't think it'd be a British citizen, he said. If they can keep me out, they can keep anybody out. The answer Vindolanda was a Roman fort just south of Hadrian's Wall in northern England. York also got the question about the Statute of Rhythlan wrong. It led to the annexation of Wales to England. York said he preferred that foreigners study Alan Bennett, the prolific playwright John Cleese, the comedian famed for the Monty Python series and the punk band The Sex Pistols. Even some members of the Oxbridge-educated elite have demonstrated some surprising gaps in knowledge of the motherland. In 2012, David Cameron, then Prime Minister, admitted to David Letterman that he had no idea what Magna Carta, the cornerstone of the British legal and political system, actually stood for. It means Great Charter. Whatever the questions, at least three-quarters of them must be answered correctly.